Another shipment of American food is unloaded at the Greek port of Piraeus. Greece, so impoverished by the war that her very existence depends on American aid, gives a preview in its practical application to other European countries who may be granted aid under the Marshall Plan. Food, for which the Greek government makes no payment, is treated as an ordinary import and reaches the consumer through normal marketing channels. For the housewife, queuing like her counterpart throughout this world of shortage, American aid means that the meager rations will stretch a little further, and free meals at school guarantee the children relief from hunger. But gifts of food alone will not restore the internal stability of the Hellenes. Recovery hinges upon long-term planning. These tires, drums of oil and other equipment for replenishing transport and revitalizing commerce are of greater significance than food. The underlying purpose of the European recovery program is not only to raise the living standards of war-stricken nations, but to give them the means to plan their own economic salvation. Part of the program is the provision of skilled men, like this diver on repair work in the harbor of Salonika, to train workers in the use of unfamiliar machinery. Every country has its own particular problems to overcome before turning recovery corner. In mountainous Greece, always backward in her communication system and relying to a large extent upon the seaways, the speedy resurfacing of ports has priority. Highest in the list of planning requirements is the mechanical equipment for the reconstruction of the Corinth Canal. Destroyed in two great sections by the retreating German army, the loss of the vital waterway is a tremendous handicap to Greece. Of all the shattered nations, this country faces the worst of the problems in traveling the hard road back. But with the tools available to do the job, Greece shows she has the will to make the journey. <laughs>